Hello guys, Belinda here. Um, so to start off, I actually wanted to show you guys this painting that I did. That was a couple of um, videos ago. And how it actually dried. So of course it needs to have a varnish in due time. So the colours will definitely pop. I'm really, really happy with this. I love that, you know, when I did the ring pour first, I didn't want it to be um, perfect rings. I wanted it to have like a different kind of effects background. <laughs> and this part that come up here, all these beautiful little cells. Hopefully you're seeing that. And I didn't want to get rid of those because they kind of, that's where they were and I thought it looked quite nice anyway guys, um, let's get on with today's artwork um, today I am going to be trying to use up some of my paints I've got a double cup here because this is quite even on it, even doubled up it's thin because that's for um, the environment friendly if you hear any noises in the background, it's the people who are, um, <laughs> some voices from the wilderness, the people are doing the preparations for my fibre install, because the copper is a nightmare. It is so slow, it takes forever and a day to actually upload a video. So, um, let's go in with the white first. I have no real plan. I know what's in my head. I want that on the canvas. And I'm just going to layer some colors. So that was lemon yellow and this is just gold. have um, magenta, uh, not magenta, um, dioxidine purple. Hmm. Didn't bring a stick guys, so we just have to use this one. I just do want to use that up. So as for my leg, if you guys haven't watched or heard my previous videos, um, I am booked for a scan, thank you Agnes. Um, let's just see what's going on here. See a little hair or something in there. It's probably from my cat. She's got such long fluffy hair that, um, you know, you vacuum often enough once a once a week and still it kind of floats around in the air and with it being summer now she molts a lot in summer <laughs> you would think that she wouldn't have any hair left but she's still got plenty my beautiful little girl This is um, magenta, really beautiful colour. Get all that out. And uh, yeah, 
I use that blue hair. And this is fluorescent blue. So I'm just doing this, trying it out on this smaller size canvas first. And if I'm happy with it, then I'm going to do it on a larger canvas. Right. Um, let me go in with some more white now. the fluorescent yellow again. No, no, that's going to end up on the outside. So I'm not putting down a base. I just um, hope that's going to be enough colour. Enough paint. Yeah, I might keep that just in case I need more paint for the outside so it doesn't roll over itself. And I will end it with some white. Like I said, I hope this works out the way I would like it to. If it does, <laughs> you guys will be the first to know what it is that I'm actually using. Because I'm after something in my head, you know me, always experimenting. Right guys, what do you think? Enough paint? I've just got to be careful with this cup because it's um, so soft. You scrunch it up quite easily. Hmm. So I'm liking these colors already. And let's hope that there's not too much white. I don't want the white to take over. It might. But <laughs> I've been, my theme lately has been um, all very subtle colours. See if I can get this one off the plastic. I can show you while we're waiting for the paint to come out of the cup. Hopefully you'll see that. And it's drying absolutely beautiful and there's so many cells so much lacing and it's so soft and I love that the the end of these leaves or petals are actually quite soft so the one that I thought might actually crack. I don't know why I thought that my base coat was very very thick and I can actually see it pretty thick. So that's the almost dried version. 
um, of that and it hasn't cracked at all these petals absolutely beautiful okay hey, let's get on with this oh Look at that in the cup. Let's put that on the corners. Wow. I'm blown away. It's a shame I'm getting rid of those little cells, but what can you do? Oh, well, what I should have done, hmm, a bit late now, is put it down on the plastic so I can keep it for my skins. That would have been a good idea. Anyway, it's what it is. This is so beautiful and so colourful. I do love colour. <laughs> I'm Sagittarius. The Sagittarians like bold colours. Um, but I do go off on a different tangent. I suppose everybody does really. We just... Um, Start leaning towards other colors, I suppose. Okay, that is gorgeous. Let's see if we can get this silly torch of mine to work. Oh, good. So we're going to tilt. Hmm. I don't want to tilt. I want to. I don't want this to roll over itself. So I'm just going to mix all these colours together that's left over, and add a little bit of water. Just because I don't want it to roll over itself, I'll lose all of that. Hmm. It really is beautiful. Pull that down. Just spread it out a little. Cells. That should do it. Stretch it out there. I 
I'm actually just a teeny bit sorry that I didn't use more paint. I'm just bringing it back to the center. take it that way just getting it towards you know closer to the corners so I don't lose too much sadly it's still rolling over itself Just bringing it back and go off that side. I'll turn it around so you guys can see. I love these cells here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to keep them there. Let's see. We'll bring that down. I'm not 100% fond of all of that yellow, so if I can, I'm going to go back and get rid of some of it. I'm not too worried about these corners either. So I will keep some of the yellow and I see that yellow has um, some really nice cells really really pretty I don't know guys how's that side <laughs> like I can hear you give this a torch I think um, I think I'm happy with it so 
so this is it um <laughs> sorry about the glare i'm just giggling because um i don't see any birds you know birds always pop up in all of my artwork that i do for some reason but i see a lot of eyeballs <laughs> a lot of eyeballs looking at me can see all these eyeballs here and um, there's heaps of them some more there there's one here that totally looks like an eyeball and um, <coughs> there's a kind of a lizardy thing looking over there but um, all in all, I think this is really a beautiful piece. I love the way the cells are multicolored. And, um, you know, the different colored rings. Let's see if I can get that. If you put the light off, you might not be able to get to see everything. very interesting outcome um yeah not what I was expecting but very interesting nonetheless and very colorful well guys um thanks again so much for watching and um, if you haven't already subscribed please um, take a second to do that I'd appreciate that and um, to those of you who have subscribed thank you I really do appreciate all the comments and um, you know the likes and the shares well guys um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one thank you bye